Last year, I uploaded a YouTube short that got me some insane results. This was a video that I shot on my iPhone, and you can see it got 2.4 million views, 452 comments, and 46,493 likes. It was that video that really showed me just how powerful short clips could be. But that was a video that I made on my iPhone. I've got tons of other videos that are regular YouTube style videos that I could easily turn into shorts, but it's such a time consuming process, or at least it was until I picked up something called Opus Clip. Now in this video, I'm gonna walk you through Opus Clip. I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and you can make a choice as to whether you think this is something that you can use in your business. So let's go and have a look. So here we are over at the Opus Clip dashboard. I've been a paying customer for about a year and it allows you in essence to take regular videos that you might see on YouTube and it uses AI and transforms them into really nice looking vertical videos that you can then upload as a YouTube short, an Instagram you know, video, a Facebook reel, Pinterest video, etc. Pretty much anywhere that you could upload a vertical video. Now you could of course do this yourself if you are proficient with editing tools, but it would take you time. And you could of course outsource it to a professional, which is gonna cost you an arm and a leg. This is really gonna save you money and time and allow you to control the process. And you can do a ton of these at the same time and do it really quickly. So you can use YouTube links, Rumble links, Zoom links, or you can drag and drop a file that's on your computer. Now I'm just gonna use this video here, which is a travel video on Japan. It's not my video, but I'm gonna grab the URL and I'm gonna put that in there. And it's gonna pull the video in very shortly. And then we can play around with this. Now this particular tool works better for videos that have a voiceover, a person that speaks. Now whether that's talking head or just a regular voiceover doesn't matter. But if you don't have a voice and there's nobody speaking on the video, it's probably not gonna be that great or worth it. And also, it's not really suitable for screen share videos like this where I share my screen and that'll become apparent later on. So when it's pulled in your video, you've got a couple of choices. You can leverage their AI to clip the video. Now in this case, I might want a video that is between 30 and 59 seconds long because I wanna use it as a short. So I just check that and click off. Or I can say don't clip and then it's going to basically take the whole video and it's going to keep the length. And what I'd have to do is edit it down until it's of a certain time limit. So I'm just gonna click on AI clipping, keep this, now if we scroll down, we can choose the captions that we want to appear. And this is also a great time saver because to manually do this and have them appear as somebody speaks can be a bit tricky. Yes, you can use something like CapCut to do this, but this just keeps everything in one place. So we've got all of these different templates, Mr. Beast. Um, we've got some other ones down here. We've got Alex Hormozy, Elon Musk. So just go through and choose one that you like. I'm just gonna choose Mr. Beast one for now. And then I'm gonna click on get clips in one click. And I've just got to wait. The project is submitted. It's not gonna happen instantaneously. If we scroll down, there are about six minutes until I can actually you know, turn this into a vertical video that I like. So these are other videos that I've made recently. You wanna, I've deleted ones that I've made in the past. So for example, this one I don't need. So I can click on delete and get rid of this one. But just to give you an idea what they look like, Let's click on best spices for detox. So this video opens up, it provides you with a title based on the video itself. You can retitle it by clicking here if you want to. So you can click on one of these and just change the title. So I could you know, change this and click on catchy and you can see it's gonna retitle it. Whether it's gonna retitle it better or worse, it's up for you to decide. It gives you a score out of 100 based on the quality of your script. So we've got hook, flow, value, and trend. You can hover over each one and read what it says. So it gives me a hook of A. So it says, the, uh, uh, gives me a hook of A. Okay, the opening line is quite engaging as it presents a surprising fact that could pique the audience's interest, etc., etc. Now take this score with a pinch of salt because this is Opus Clip's own scoring criteria. We don't really know how it gets these numbers. If you don't get 99 and you get 60, 70, 80, don't worry too much. Now you can publish these videos, you can export them as XML, you can download the HD file, which is what I tend to do. I've not used these um, beta functions yet, but what we can do is we can edit the clip. This is for certain plans where you can turn it into square video as well as a vertical video. Now if I were to click on edit clip, this one's already been edited, 
but it pulls in all this information. So it pulls in the video, it's got it down here as well with the words that are spoken. And as we kind of drag this across the timeline, you can see that the words appear as somebody speaks. So let me just press play and we'll have a watch and a listen. Let's go to the start of this. So let's press play. Did you know that adding certain spices to your diet can give your body an extra boost in detoxifying? As you can see, as the lady speaks, the captions appear at the same time. So that's really, really cool. Now, this here with the blurry stuff here, the caption at the bottom, this is all by design. If I want to move my caption, I can come here to caption and I could put it at the top, in the middle, at the bottom, or auto, which means it'll be top, bottom, middle. But I don't want it to cover the picture, so I prefer to have them at the bottom. But when you upload this, if you were to upload this, I should say, as a Facebook Reel, you might want it at the top because at the bottom you have a little bit of text which talks about your video. So just bear in mind where you're going to put this video. And you can, of course, drag it up and have it further up if you want to, but we'll just leave this at the bottom. Now, this is the layout. If I click on the layout, we've got all these different screen layouts. If I click on Fill, that whole screen comes up and the whole thing is full of the video. That might be perfect for some scenes, other scenes this is going to work best, and you've got tons of other options, but to be honest, I don't really like the split one, it just kind of doubles it up, and then we've got the four. It doesn't really work for me, but it might do for certain videos or for certain scenes. If at some point we decide we want to, you know, clip the video, I can, you know, drag this to a certain point, then I can split it, I could click on this and delete it, I could drag this across and just remove a little bit that I don't want, I can click on this to go back so it's back where it was. If we find a spelling mistake, now perfectly honestly, I've not found one before, but if you use technical terms, company names, people's names, then chances are the spelling could be wrong. So all you want to do is find where the spelling is wrong. So let's say that natural is spelled incorrectly, which obviously it's not, but let's pretend it is. We click once, edit words, change the spelling, and then hit correct. Obviously, I'm going to go back, click on that, edit words, and then get rid of that, and we can correct that. So that's how we do that. If we don't like this colouring, we can change it. So let's just close that. Uh, let's go to the keywords highlighter. Now this is yellow and this turquoisey by default, but if I don't like the turquoise, I'll click on it and let's make it a bright green colour. Bingo, we've done that. And then if we come towards the end of the video and we click somewhere, hopefully we'll find a bit, let's click on one of the words, that's easier. And you can see that it does appear green. You can add emojis as well if you want to. You can add B-roll if you want to. They've got stock videos and B-roll footage, but again, it's not something that I've played around with. And for these videos, there's no real need to do so. So once you're happy, you can click on Save Changes. If you want to split it up and add a transition, you can do that as well. So again, I can drag my cursor, click Split, click on Transition, choose one that I like, and then just kind of you know, drag it and drag and drop it in there. So we've got that. And then if we click that, let's just press play. Your body has a natural detox system. You saw the little transition there. Now, in this particular case, it wouldn't make sense, but you can do that if you want to. We'll click on it and we'll hit delete. I've not played with the voiceover function yet, but that might be great. I don't know. We'll then hit save changes. And then what we'll do is once it's saved on the next page, you can see it'll kind of go up there. We can then export the video or download it and do what we want with it. So while that's doing its thing, let's go back to the home page. Let's scroll down and we can see now that we're done. So let's click on this and we'll see what it's done. So it's given us another high score of 99 out of 100 and it's created a 30 second clip. So let's click on edit clip and see if it's done a good job or not. So the first thing I'll want to do once this is ready is double check that the caption is at the bottom, so it's auto. I only want one, which is fine. Let's say I'm going to change the colours and I'm going to change the yellow to a kind of deep orangey red colour and the green, well, we'll leave the green as it is. So let's say there's other keywords. Shirakawago is a really popular place in um, Japan, it's in Gifu Prefecture, it's a World Heritage Site. So what I can do is I can highlight this because I want this to be a keyword and I'll highlight that in green. And if you find that there are other keywords that you're not really important like the end, then I'll just uh, go to the default font, col font color and get rid of that. So again, really well, we'll leave it as it is, but you get the idea. So now let's go back here and let's just press play and have a listen. Now, I don't know what this uh, voice is gonna sound like because this voice is imported from the actual video. It could be terrible. We'll find that in a second. 
This is a small little post town, very similar to Shirakawa Go, but they have the most awesome, cool. So that's obviously the lady that made the video. She's done a good job with the video. I'm not obviously going to use this video. I'm just showing you how to use the tool. Snow festival in winter, and I loved it. It was so much fun. They've got little shops set up, and there's like mochi everywhere in the trees, and. So you can see it's pretty cool. Now, you want to play around with this. You might want to cut bit off the end. You might not want to have the bit with you know, the talking head in. It's entirely up to you. It's not a complicated thing to do. It might take a little bit of getting used to. We've got these emojis as well. So we've got this emoji here. But if we click on this, I'm going to click on this emoji and choose something different. So let's just have the grinning face. Okay, now let's just click back here and let's see what it looks like. It was so much fun. There you They've go. Little you had the emoji that appeared. So you can make this look really cool. If you want to change the captions even more, then you can have some animation. So you could have them bounce, underline. So if we go bounce, now let's press play. And there's like mochi everywhere in the trees. So how cool is that? I'm sure you've seen really cool YouTube short videos that have this kind of stuff and thought maybe, well, that looks great, but how do I make this? Because I don't have the skill set to make it. I'm not a video editor. I can't afford to pay a professional. Well, now you can use something like Opus Clip and you can make tons of these and you can have these simultaneously. So you can, you know, add a YouTube link and as it's processing, you can add another one and another one and you can do multiple videos at the same time and it really does save you a whole bunch of time. So let's hit save changes. And then what I would basically do if this were my video is I'd export the HD file and then I'd upload it maybe to my Japan Pinterest account. I'd upload it to my Facebook page, upload it as a YouTube short. And I've got all of this content that I can repurpose and add across multiple places all from one regular YouTube video. So you're probably wondering how much does all this cost? Well, if you go to the pricing, you've got several options. You've got monthly and yearly. So they do have a free version, which does attract a lot of people. But as with all of these things, the free version doesn't really do much. It's got the watermark. You can't really edit it. Um, and you just don't, you're going to basically get frustrated with it. It's great to test it out, but after a while, you're going to want to basically upgrade. So the starter plan is 15 bucks a month, or they've got this. Now, the Pro is usually $29, as you can see, but they've got this deal on at the time of me making this video. If you go to the page, I'll leave a link in the description. It might be gone. I've got no idea. But right now, it's really cheap. And you can see all of the things in here. Now, 150 processing minutes is pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, this gives you 3,600 per year. You've got the AI B-Roll and all of these extra things in here you can use for this version. If you want to make square videos, which is an aspect ratio of one to one, you're going to need this one. But for most people, I really think a starter pack is where you should start. And then later on, if you end up using all your credits, you can upgrade. You can also upgrade your credits within the dashboard. So I could add more credits here if I wanted to, which is totally fine. They use Stripe as a checkout system. They've recently introduced their affiliate program. They did have an affiliate program to a select few people back when they got started. Um, but I just spoke with the affiliate manager not long ago and it's been rolling out in certain countries. I've been wanting to recommend this for a long time and I'm really glad it's finally come to Japan, which is great. We'll just uh, you know accept the cookies. And you can have a look here and just you know decide which one that you want to get. But if I were you, I'd click on the link in the description, grab your starter plan and like with all these things, once you've used it three or four or five times, you'll get used to it and you'll be able to knock these out super quickly. If you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy Opus Clip. Take care.